my name is Ivan Hernandez, and I'm part of the uh, first job shadow program here at San Pedro High School. And what you see in the background is our e-waste recycling event, one of our many things we do for um, for the environment. And job, um, one of the one of the main things we did today was the, one of the main things we did this year was the job shadow program sponsored by ATEP. And I what we had to go through was a process of first figuring out what uh, first we had to sign up for the counselor. I was lucky luckily able to get in. Um, we had to do we had to go through a process of making our resume, our cover letters, finding about what we can do for interviews, and all this other stuff that you have to do to be prepared for a job shadow. For any job actually. And then after a couple weeks of doing job um, job applications, resumes, cover letters, and all this other stuff that we learned about, we actually got to the point where we actually had to do research and pick one of the companies we wanted to job shadow. I chose West Basin Coastal Terminal, which is a, a company that's um, based in the port of San, port of Los Angeles, which cares about containers and terminals. And I um, had to do research about them, and I I chose one of the jobs was um, one of the one of the managers at, uh, at the uh, at the building. And then so I had, after that, after show, um, turning in all my information, I had to go through an interview process with the person, and they they just pretty much reviewed me on like, what things I did bad, what things I did good on the interview. They checked my resume. It was like, it was really helpful. And it was really a lot of information that I, I think was very critical and super and important for the job role. And after doing the interview process and and finding out where I had to go, I went, I had one day chosen out of spring break to go to, to the terminal. Yeah, no party for me. <laughs> so I went there. Um, I had to take. I had to wear my vest because you can't get on there. That's one of the rules. You can't get on there without a safety vest. And then once we got there, the, the guy there, um, Pat Brown, he showed me around, and it was pretty. It was pretty awesome. I never knew about the terminal that much, and like the hard, the hard things about managing it, the computers behind it, the. Uh, the kinds of things you had to do when you're a crane operator, the kind of things you had to do when you're creating new like containers or new new parts of the port. And I learned about I learned a lot, and I think that um, coastal terminals are really important in our in the job world, and they're also very important to the environment because ships cause a lot of smog and all this other um, stuff they release when they're standing by. And one of the main things they they, they talked about was that. The fact that they're actually losing electric power from from the city grid to power the boats instead of using the diesel oil because the, the diesel and not the diesel oil, just pure crude oil. They don't even run on gasoline. But I was really happy with the experience. I even got to get eat lunch and I got a little goodie bag. And, um, I'm really happy that I had this chance and I might even get a an internship during my sophomore junior year in school, in um, in college. But I'm really happy for this opportunity. And I wish everybody else had a chance to take this. Thanks. Thank you.